The discovery of the oldest known fossilized skin predates previous examples by a staggering 21 million years. Greetings and salutations to everyone. Today's video focuses on an intriguing discovery made by researchers. They have recently unearthed a 3D fragment of fossilized skin that is significantly older by at least 21 million years than any previously documented skin fossils. This particular skin fragment belonged to an early species of Paleozoic reptile and exhibits a textured surface reminiscent of crocodile skin. Remarkably, it represents the oldest known example of preserved epidermis, the outermost layer of skin found in terrestrial reptiles, birds and mammals. This evolutionary adaptation played a crucial role in the transition of organisms from water to land. The findings, including this fossil, were published on January 11th in the journal Current Biology and were part of a collection of specimens recovered from the Richard Spur limestone cave system in Oklahoma. So, without further delay, let's dive into our discussion. These moments of rare occurrence grant us a remarkable chance to peer into the distant past, expresses Ethan Mooney, a graduate student in paleontology at the University of Toronto and the first author of the study. Mooney collaborated with paleontologist Robert Rise, also from the University of Toronto, during his time as an undergraduate. Discoveries of this nature have the potential to greatly enhance our comprehension and interpretation of these groundbreaking creatures. The preservation of skin and other soft tissues in fossils is a rare occurrence. However, the researchers believe that in this particular case, it was made possible due to the distinctive characteristics of the cave system. These features included the presence of fine clay sediments that hindered decomposition, the seepage of oil, and an environment within the cave that lacked oxygen. According to Mooney, the animals that ended up in this cave system during the early Permian would have been trapped and covered in exceptionally fine clay sediments, which slowed down the decomposition process. However, what makes this discovery truly remarkable is the fact that the cave system was also a site where oil seeped out during the Permian period. It is believed that the interaction between the hydrocarbons in the petroleum and tar is what enabled the preservation of the animal skins. Upon closer inspection by co-author T. Maho from the University of Toronto, Mississauga, it was discovered that the fossilized skin is minuscule in size, even smaller than a fingernail. This microscopic analysis revealed the presence of epidermal tissues, a distinctive characteristic of the skin found in amniotes. Amniotes, which include reptiles, birds and mammals, evolved from amphibian ancestors during the Carboniferous period. The team's astonishment was palpable as they were taken aback by the unexpected findings. Mooney expresses their surprise, stating, We were totally shocked by what we saw because it's completely unlike anything we would have expected. This remarkable discovery of such an ancient skin fossil offers a rare glimpse into the past, allowing us to visualize the appearance of the skin in some of the earliest animals. Similar to the scales on crocodile skin, the skin has a textured appearance and flexible areas between the scales, resembling features found in snakes and worm lizards. However, since the skin fossil is not connected to a skeleton or any other remains, it is impossible to determine the specific species or body part to which the skin belonged. The significance of these ancient skin structures, which bear a striking resemblance to the skin of present-day reptiles, highlights their vital role in ensuring survival in terrestrial habitats. According to Mooney, the epidermis played a pivotal role in the ability of vertebrates to thrive on land by acting as a crucial protective barrier that shields internal bodily processes from the unforgiving external environment. According to the researchers, this particular skin could potentially serve as the foundation for the skin structure found in early amniotes, which ultimately paved the way for the development of bird feathers and mammalian hair follicles. At Richard Spur, an active quarry in Oklahoma, paleontology enthusiasts Bill and Julie May, who have dedicated their lives to the study of fossils, gathered a collection of specimens, including a skin fossil. This limestone cave system has exceptional conditions that have safeguarded some of the earliest instances of land-dwelling creatures. The Royal Ontario Museum is the proud custodian of these valuable specimens. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. 
This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.